Vox News contributor Joe Concha joins us now. Joe, because everybody is talking about Gorsuch talking to the Federalist. I mean, that's the number one story on people's minds. How can they spend that little time on the issue involving them? Gotta love the view these days, Todd, right? Where, where, where Whoopi gets a, a paid vacation, she gets $100,000 a week to, to sit at home. And, and the conservative wow. on the panel is either a so called conservative from CNN, who literally endorsed Joe Biden during the, the 2020 campaign, or the person they had on yesterday who was a member of the Lincoln Project, uh, which actively works to get Democrats elected when they're not enriching themselves from people stupid enough to donate to them. Uh, yeah, on, on Whoopi, you know, we're a long way from the movie Ghost, aren't we, right? Uh, and and I, I spoke to a, a former major player at The View. We'll put it that way. And it changed my whole perspective on what may happen with uh, Ms. Goldberg, uh, if that's going to still be her name. Uh, basically, the entire cast doesn't care for each other very much. And some folks thought it was just a problem with Meghan McCain, because she was the uh, conservative on the show. But, but it turns out all of them really don't get along in any capacity. And now you're seeing leaks from other co-hosts uh, saying they don't want Whoopi to come back, period. Uh, probably because they don't, because it gives them more power and allows Joy Behar <laughs> to become the moderator, so to speak, which, which would be, you know, even more craptastic than, than the show already is. So while I thought the two-week suspension meant she probably would come back uh, because she just signed a new contract that, that pays her seven figures, I I'm not so sure about that now. Uh, either way, the views ratings are plummeting since Meghan McCain left, and, and the conversations uh, either are insipid in name or simply predictable. And we saw that yesterday when they're talking about how horrible Gorsuch is. Uh, instead of at least acknowledging what happened with Whoopi, uh, with some sort of discussion for more than Joy Behar speaking for about eight seconds on the matter. Yeah, well, Whoopi Goldberg suspended for two weeks. Jeff Zucker not coming back to CNN at all. He resigned yesterday, yeah. apparently after failing to disclose a relationship with a colleague. What do you know about this situation? And do you really think that's the reason he resigned? No. I, I mean, when you see this, Carly, and you have here a single... Uh, male executive dating a single female executive I'm pretty sure there's not much wrong with that. And I'm also definitely sure that that is kind of a thing, not just in this industry, but a lot of industries. We, we tend to uh, gravitate towards people within our own ecosystem. Uh, but then you have the chief media correspondent over there saying, wow, this is so stunning. Uh, no one knew about this. No, I'm pretty sure my mother-in-law knew about this relationship. It was the most open secret in this industry. Uh, so that can't be the reason why this happened. Uh, but from a business perspective, it's very easy to fire Jeff Zucker at this point. It's like firing, sorry, Todd, the head coach of the New York Giants. Oh. The numbers are the numbers. Uh, <laughs> ratings are down 90% since the same time last year. Almost all of its viewers are gone. I mean, that's really hard to do because we're on every day with each other. Uh, your rundowns are full. It's not like it's been a slow news time over the last year. So, you know, there, there is so much more to this story uh, than the Facts First network is letting on. That's par for the course for CNN. It's basically the collapsing news network at this point. And... Uh, Chris Cuomo, uh, you know, he didn't like getting fired very much uh, for, for what he did. And now he seems to be on a mission to take yeah. this entire network down yeah, with him, starting with Jeff Zucker. Cuomo and is, others will follow, yeah, believe me. Joe, I think it's so interesting, the fact that this happened, this relationship was exposed, if you believe that, during the investigation of Chris Cuomo. It's like mm -hmm. all of these people But Stelter's are... working to get at the root causes. 14 hours, he still can't figure it out. He and Kamala are trying to find root causes to things. They're not good at that. <laughs> Joe Concha, thank oh you very boy. much. Thanks, Joe. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.